other questions out there really uh, for a little bit. Um, obviously, you you, you kind of went into the pit, with uh, thrown into the walls, if, if you will, with uh, wrestling and everything. But um, why would – I don't know if you've, if, if you've considered it, but would you consider doing promo shots for people? So at Battle Club Pro, I started doing that. See, if I had known that, I would have approached you and be like, yo, I, I need promo shots. So this is the funny thing. Did you notice when Paul was like, yo, um, he, he was like, yo, come here real quick. We're going to test the shot. And I test the shot on you. Right, right. Yep, yep. So that's what we were doing for that day. We uh, Because I told Paul, I was like, damn, Paul. I was like, yo, I'm going to try to get into like some promo shots. Like actually thinking about it. And he goes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get somebody. And then that's when I bumped into you. And that's how everything just like, <laughs> I remember you know, yeah, it just fell into each other and stuff like that. I think I actually got to see if I still have that shot. I'll send you that shot. So, but hey, like, that, that like... day, yeah, that day, it, it was, it was funny because that day, um, I was shooting outside the ring mostly. Right. And, yeah. And I was like, all right, you know what? Let me actually try to switch it up a bit. Like I, like what I do sometimes I try to throw myself out of my comfort zone as much as I can just so I can actually test some shots and actually say, Hey, okay, you know what? Let's try this. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I won't do it. But you, you know, like stuff like that, because I'm like, you have to get creative no matter what it is. If you don't get creative, you're going to get bored easily, you know? And if you keep doing the same thing, of course, you're going to be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm stuck in the slump. Like, what am I doing with photography right now? Do, do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? Yeah, that's going to really throw you off. And, you know, it's really going to make you really contemplate about everything that you're doing. So that day, I was like, okay, you know what? I, I you know, they, they told me shoot outside the ring. So I shot outside the ring. And I was like, you know what? Let me actually go backstage and let me actually test some promo shots. That's when I test the shot on you. And then from there on, I just started testing everybody's shot. So the funny thing that day, whenever I was throwing out the photos, everybody was like, whoa. They were like, yo, who took this shot? Who took this shot? And they were like, oh, that's second honey. Like, you know, he took this promo shot. And they were like, yo, that thing actually came out pretty good. And I was like, okay, all right. So I was like, all right, let me keep trying and keep trying. So I'm, I'm doing that now more and more. Um, but I, I definitely love the ringside aspect because – there, there is a couple of times that I love to um, just get the emotion. Like, it, it's get the emotion, and then, like I was saying, a couple of times I almost got hit. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy, too. Like, I actually have a story where um, Teddy Hart uh, at MLW, there was a, a, um, a door match, and the uh, – um, the Hart Foundation lost and stuff like that. So Teddy Hart grabs a broom and there is a gif out there. I gotta, I'll, I gotta find it again. There's a gif Paul's out probably there. got it. Uh-huh. Paul's probably got it. Yeah, Paul probably has it. And I'm walking around the ring like this. And when Teddy Hart grabs the broom, he throws it. And when he throws it, it almost goes right through the ropes. And I duck and the ref grabs it in midair. And he goes, it was so like I couldn't stop laughing because then after that I was like oh shit uh, and then the ref goes yo you okay you okay and I was like yeah yeah I'm fine he goes yeah this is what my job is here to 